Alright, what is up guys, it is Jed, and before I let this video start, I feel like I need to address this whole mic situation, because my last video's comment section was just absolutely full of this, even though I've explained it many times to people. So I'm just going to take this opportunity now, before this video starts, to address the mic situation so people stop talking about it. So my previous mic, the one that gave me that silky smooth voice you guys are all familiar with, it broke. I had it for like four years, and it finally broke. If you listen to my videos like back in October, you heard a low humming sound and that was the mic about to break and it, then it just finally broke one day. After my mic broke, the only thing I had to choose from was this headset. It was the only way I could produce videos and get my audio in. I do have an AT2020. My power supply for it just came in and then I realized that Europe uses different wall outlets than the US so I had to order an adapter. I'm going to plug that in, plug my mic into it and then hopefully I'll be back with the silky smooth voice. As of right now, the only option I have is this headset, so it's what I gotta work with or I just don't talk in my videos. Another thing I wanted to address is that if you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe now. I've actually lost a good amount of subscribers because they couldn't be bothered to read the pinned comment in my last video. Some people think that I've abandoned my old format that made me popular in the first place altogether, and I haven't. There's nothing to suggest I have. The second I swap my format for just a little bit, people think I've abandoned the format altogether and they're abandoning this channel. To me, that sort of thinking is just mind-blowing how people think that, oh, he uploaded this video twice, therefore he has quit what I subscribed for. It's just infuriating because I do this normal style of video until it starts to fall off and people tell me I'm milking Fortnite. I'm not producing high quality content, I should do what I like and not force the content I make, and then the second that I do that, they tell me that I should go back to my old format and I don't care about the real fans that have subscribed. I know this is inevitable, but it just really illustrated how much you can't win with YouTube and it is so incredibly frustrating. So if you've unsubscribed from this channel or you're not subscribed already, please subscribe now. I have not abandoned this format and I don't know why anyone would think that. Okay, so moving on with the video. When I saw the coming soon icon for the turret, I thought about making this video before it had even come out. I knew exactly what I was going to say, but I figured I should give Epic a chance. Now, after waiting and giving Epic a chance, I'm regretful. I should have made this video prior to the launch because it's exactly what I expected and even more. The mounted turret has absolutely no place in this game. My solution is to simply vault it. However, I'm going to go over why I think it's bad for the overall quality and integrity of the game. Now, the first thing I noticed, and I've played a good number of games, and no, I didn't just play Food Fight. I know, like, mounted turrets drop from every supply drop. That's not what I'm talking about. I played, like, solos. I even played in their competitive mode. And I played a good number of games. And I've come to the conclusion that it is just way too common. I don't know if they're just showing it off for the first week by bumping up the drop rates a little bit. I wouldn't know. I wish they would communicate that with us. But I usually see, like, three or four a game. For something that is this downright overtuned, I don't think it should be this available. The second thing I noticed is it hits absolutely way too hard. 40 base damage with the ability to headshot doubling the damage? Epic Games, are you actually serious? Oh, don't worry guys, let me utilize first shot accuracy, something the turret doesn't have, to outplay and beat the turret gunner. Oh wait, the turret hitbox is completely broken. Yeah, let's just make it when shooting the head of the gunner, while the gunner is looking straight on, to hit a non-existent hitbox half the time. This makes it literally impossible to consistently challenge the gunner and win. If you don't have mats or natural terrain, you die. The turrets don't technically reload either. They use a heat system, you have to manage how long you're spraying it or else it will overheat and you gotta wait. And even if you do overheat it, it's very short until it's firing again. So a 1v1 against a turret, I would compare it to the shitty situation where you get in where a default is just spraying you down with a minigun and there's absolutely nothing you can do building-wise. Take that, add syphilis, and you have the mounted turret. So does this thing have any good aspects to it, outside of it being completely overtuned, like actual good benefits to the game? Well, no, not really at all. I suppose the artwork on it, which is something that Epic has consistently done well and never really failed at, it looks really cool. The sound design, something Epic consistently does well as well. Epic always gets their sound on point. Other than that, no. I don't think there's any benefit to having this in the game. Now before someone says it, yeah, I know. You can shoot it down. You can break all the connections that the turret is sitting on and it will break down. But to that I would reply with what about the fact that you can place its 5k health floor in the ground? How are you going to shoot that down? It is connected to the terrain. In the middle of a fight, you can just set this turret up. It's very quick to set up and, like, 
You could just be in the middle of the fight, attach a floor into the terrain, and then place the turret on it, and then it takes the floor away, and then puts a 5k health floor grounded into the terrain. You can't shoot that down or anything, and it sets up pretty quick. You can do that in the middle of a fight and jump on and be on a turret, and if you're just looking at someone, they can't hit you because the hitbox is absolutely broken. Do I think this thing has any weaknesses? Yeah, I think it has a few. I would say vultures, and when I say vultures, I'm referring to third parties, people that show up and interrupt a fight. If you get pinched in this thing, you're pretty much dead. But if you're looking straight at the person you're fighting, you are completely safe. I guess another weakness that the gun has is that it's stationary, like you can't move around in it, it's not on wheels or something. And it has a moderately slow turning speed. Its bloom can get pretty bad if you have your finger stapled to your mouse button. Seriously, tap firing is really rewarding with this thing, don't spray unless you're base busting. Other than that, I don't think there's really much more to say about this. Epic Games really messed up adding this one into the game. I think it's very simple. They just need to vault this one, forget it ever happened, and move on with the game. But if they were dead set on keeping it in the game, I think this is exactly what they need to do. Number one, I think they just need to lower the base damage. 40 is way too hard, especially when you headshot. 80 damage is just obnoxious. You could three tap a full shielded player. Lower the base damage, maybe cut it in half, maybe 25 damage is fine. 50 damage for a headshot on a fully automatic, unlimited ammo mounted turret is pretty good still. The second thing they need to do is raise the gunner up a bit, or get rid of that bullshit hitbox that sits where the gunner's head should be, that prevents you from even killing the gunner in the first place. That's the second thing they need to do. Third thing they need to do is make it overheat faster, so like base busting and just material draining isn't as potent with this thing. And then fourth thing, make it more rare. There's no reason that it should be this common right now. Like it's to the point where like I can count on every single game having the option of just jumping down to the ground, placing one in the terrain, shoot everything down, and if they try to push me, destroy any buildings that they place. And then if they just try to, you know, actually take a gunfight, they can't damage me because I have a hitbox in front of my face. This thing is incredibly overtuned. It needs some serious adjustments or it just needs to be vaulted. This was a bad idea, just like the drum gun. It was just a bad idea and needs to be taken out of the game. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this gun. I think it's just ridiculous. Type me out a comment. Do you think it needs to be in the game? I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Yes, I'm going to be doing more of these videos. I actually have six of them planned, so keep an eye out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. in my fucking class. Uh, you said fucking auto log filter by EDX. Remove the bed from fire. Last Saturday, kick someone. Deleted two messages. Kick someone.